Hey guys, Big Red 310 here. I will review another DVD today by Da uh, AAW, which has a final countdown to a match that I will get into. But first, I have another Black Friday box. No, this is not the crate. So, no, this is not 19 shows. I thought it would be. But no, this is another one. This is either my 2002 shows or another show that I will not say that I did order. But let's see what we have here. Ah, no fluff. So you can see I'm currently opening the box. Yep, this is the second order that I did not tell anybody about. There are a bunch of 2008 shows. Okay. Let me get into them. <clears throat> They're all 2008 shows that I didn't feel the need to share. Okay, first off we have Eye of the Storm. Basically, uh, Ring of Honor had a, had a big bad storm and they lost half of their guys. So they just created a one night tournament and this is supposed to be the best tournament Ring of Honor's ever had. The 6th anniversary show, the famous show where Nigel turned heel on Brian Danielson. Also has a lot of other great matches that I really can't wait to see. So yeah, 6th anniversary show. Dragon Gate Challenge 2, the show before Supercard of Honor 3. Uh, this show uh, has all the Dragon Gate guys coming back again. It looks like an excellent show. I wasn't really too into it because Dragon Gate has their own promotion now, so I really didn't need to go out of my way to get this. But <clears throat> this was this was the last day of their Black Friday sale, so I thought, hell, why not just include this in there? Plus, I needed enough to get over one hundred dollars, so I can get fifty percent off. Uh, I'll tell you the math of that later. Forty percent of eighty dollars, fifty percent of a hundred dollars. You're paying like five dollars for another show, basically. That's why I did it. So yeah, this, the Briscoes versus Dragon Kid and Rio Saito, Stratic Strong, Dave Richards and Rocky Romero versus Eric Stevens, Go Shizaki and Sima, Naruki Doi and Yoshino versus Kevin C and El Generico. Very good show so far. A <coughs> new level. <coughs> Nigel versus Claudio and the Br Jay Briscoe and Austin Aries versus the Age of the Fall. Takeshi Morishima and Echo Butcher, not really looking forward to that. Marafuji, Brian Danielson, and looking forward to that. A new level. Oh, damn it, I did it out of order. Eh, it doesn't matter. Return Engagement, which has the return match of the Briscoes versus the Motor City Machine Guns. You have Nigel McGuinness versus Kevin Steen. You have Kota Ibushi versus El Generico. The Vulture Squad, Jack Evans, Ruckus, and Jigsaw versus Tyler Black, Joey Matthews, and Zach Gowan. Jesus Christ, this looks like an amazing show. Return Engagement. And one 2004 show that I just had to get with the upcoming uh, PWG ROH uh, double show this January. Weekend of Thunder Night 1, which includes... Jushin Thunder Liger versus Brian Danielson. And a match between Austin Aries and CM Punk where the lights shut off during the match. So again, that's Eye of the Storm, 6th Anniversary Show, Dragon Gate Challenge, Return Engagement, A New Level, and a Weekend of Thunder Night 1. Yeah, so the big crate and my 2002 shows and my PDBG shows still have to come in. God, man, I'm getting too many damn. But now I have enough DVD. Now I can watch these shows, like, while I'm waiting for the 2002 show. So I can't say I have nothing to watch. Damn, my stack's getting huge. Okay, let's get to... Ooh, a nice... Yeah, here, here's the Wrestle Reunion card. Where ROH meets PWG. RVD is supposed to be on the show. So, Andrew Liger versus Davey Richards. So, yeah, this show looks amazing. Let's get to AAW. Yeah, sorry to the sharp contrast of color and a different shirt. You see, I made that video earlier today, that part of it, because I had gotten the package in. But now I'm gonna review AAW, because I didn't finish the show yet. Uh, this is the promotion I want, I want to support, because I'm a big Silas Young fan. He's in here a lot. I'm a big Tyler Black fan. He's the main guy in here. Jimmy Jacobs, uh, House of Truth, not really a good thing. And also, Shima Zion, who I just, I'm a huge fan of. So again, I think you guys should check out this promotion. This this video was a high success. This is one of the best shows I've seen all year. I put this above of a lot of Ring of Honor shows and a few PWG shows. This is one of the best shows I've seen this year. And I really think you guys should go out of your way. Go to Smart Mark Video. I don't think AAW Wrestling has it yet. And support this promotion. It's only $15. It's not $20. And this is just an excellent, excellent, excellent show. Okay, it's, I don't have to do this really quickly. 
We start off with a team called Faith in Nothing versus Flip Kendrick and Lewis Linden or Aeroform, who are now in Evolve Wrestling. This is a very fun opener. Three and a quarter stars. Really got the crowd into it. Lewis Linden and Flip Kendrick were botchy, but it didn't get to the point where it annoyed me. You know, they did in the first two minutes, and I was just like, okay, fuck this. They, I, I like the rest of the way. Let's get Shane Hollister versus Nick Brubaker. I'm going to give this two and a quarter stars. It was two stars. It was only four minutes, but for four minutes, it was a pretty good match. Let's get Knight Wagner and Jordan McIntyre versus Crotch and Ju- Juice Robinson. It's probably the worst match of the night. Well, again, only five minutes, except this, the botching was really noticeable in this one. I'm going to give this also two stars. Uh, definitely brought the card down a bit, but you know what? Still decent for what it was. Just, again, really short, and the botching was so noticeable. Let's get an impromptu AAW heavyweight title match between Jay Bradley and Jimmy Jacobs. I'm going to give this three and a half stars because I like Jacobs winning the belt. Yeah, I kind of spoiled it. But I also like the psychology of this match. I just love, and the storytelling, I just love, I love the little guy who overcome David versus Goliath. I just love it in wrestling. I, I, Ray, Mater- Ray Mysterio's title reign, besides this match with JBL, they never did that, which is why I did not like his title reign. With Mark Henry, Mark Henry, Goliath basically beat the living shit out of David, and David found a cheap way to run away from battle and still win. Only as much as JBL did I think they properly used the David versus Goliath formula. It never really worked for Ray. They should have put him against in more challenges. It just didn't work for him. But this was this really worked beautifully. Jimmy Jacobs slowly, methodically beat down on Jay Bradley, and I loved every minute of it. Jimmy Jacobs bladed. There was a nice table spot, nice chair shot. Just a lot of good stuff in this match. Plus the title change. I'm going to give this three and a half stars. I really did enjoy it that much. Next, you get Eric Cannon and the North Star Express, which is Grand Akuma, Halloween, and Jigsaw. Very fun match, three and a quarter stars. It was a little short. It was only like 10 minutes, but it was also, this one was also kind of botchy and also kind of noticeable to the degree where it kind of bothered me a little. Three and a quarter stars, so still a lot of fun. Let's get Shima Xion versus Johnny Gargano. Shima Xion is just great in the ring, just great. Johnny Gargano is very good as well. I don't think he's as good as Shima Xion, that's my opinion. Three and a half stars to this match, a lot of fun. Great technical wrestling here. Shima Xion. Wow, he knows how to get out of a hold and into a new one in like five seconds. Or out of a grapple into a submission or in, out of the submission into a grapple like that. He has such great pacing. It's amazing. And he, he had a great match here with Johnny Gargano, who's not in Dragon Gate. Next we get Danny Daniels and Ryan Boz versus Zero Gravity. Zero Gravity's okay. I don't think they're as good as Aeroform or the North Star Express. But this is still a pretty good match. I'm going to give this three stars. You know, a lot of fun for what it was. It was it, this was also a bit short. But I did enjoy it. Next we get the AAW Tag Team Title Match, the House of Truth versus the Young Bucks. This was kind of disappointing. I thought this would be a lot better, given the time that it had. But this was still very good. I'm gonna give this three and a quarter stars, maybe three and a, nah, three and a quarter stars. A uh, lot of great spots in this one too. Just it kind of dragged on a bit. It, it, this one went too long. Uh, again, Christian Abel was in for most of this match. I and mean, when you if if Christian Abel is in for most of the match. I seriously, Josh Ring was in there like three times and he did a really cool shooting star press. But really when Christian Abel's in the match for most of the match, you know it's not gonna be that good. But this is still decent because the Young Bucks are great wrestlers. So we give this three and a quarter stars. Next you get the main event. And the reason I bought this show, this is a final countdown tour show in Brian Danielson versus Silas Young. This match was awesome. Four and a quarter stars. I do not want anyone to say Silas Young is not a good wrestler. If you do, I'm just not I'm just gonna Ignore you. I'm going to call you a moron and say you don't know what you're talking about because you clearly did not see the show. Yes, obviously, he fought Brian Danielson. And yes, he did box like two moves that were highly, highly noticeable. But his wrestling was great. His submission, a lot of great submissions by Silas Young in this match. This is just an excellent match, given a lot of time. More time than any of the other final counts. On. No, okay. Not more than his match with Davey. But still given a lot of time. A lot of fun. Four and a quarter stars. Excellent, excellent. Probably the best match of Silas Young's career. And I'm going to give this show an 8.5. Again, the, the ratings don't really show it. But it's such an easy... This show is nine matches, and it's such an easy show to sit through. Really. I, I shot through the show like that. Plus, the, I really liked Jimmy Jacobs, Jay Bradley. I liked Shima Xai and Johnny Gargano. Shima Xai and Johnny Gargano. Second best match of the night, by the way. Uh, and there's a lot of three-star matches on here that you should check out. Nothing here is really bad. So, yeah. AAW, defining moment. Us versus them. I would go pick this up. I would support this company. Uh, Tyler Black was not on the show, but he regularly, regularly is. Very, very fun show. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And please check out AAW. Check out the brand names and the song match because it is amazing. I'm Big Red 310, and I'm out, guys. See ya. One more thing. I want to do uh, top 100 pro wrestling matches of 2009. I know Sanders Robin did top 100 Ring of Honor. I want to do pro wrestling in general. But I know that this is kind of Sanders Robin thing. It's his kind of thing. 
So, I want to know if it's okay with you guys, if you guys don't mind me doing this. If you have a problem with it, even you, Sanders, if you have a problem with it, I have no problems. I will easily do a top 50 pro wrestling match of the year like that. Because I already have, because I started tight, I, I wanted to do 50. But by the time I finished doing all the matches, I had like 79. So, I might as well, I want to go to 100, but it's only up to you. And, yeah, like I said, watch, watch Brian Nation so I'm my third plug. Seriously, check out this promotion. One of the best shows I've seen all year. Just the pacing of it and the flow of the show is just great. Anyway, uh, my real goodbye. I'm Big Red 310. I'm out, guys. See ya.